now that we have entered data into a web form field and click the button to submit it, the next thing that, that we need to do is wait for the page to load. This is going to be a little bit different than what I've showed previously where we create a do loop and wait until the ready state is equal to four. We are going to use the same code, however, we're also going to add another piece where we're going to wait for the ready state to be three. And ready state three just means that the page is interactive and is currently communicating with the server. So I'm going to copy this code first off. Scroll down to the very bottom of the procedure. This is after this is where we hit the submit button. The next thing that we're going to do is do a do do events. And here we just have our error handling loop until object IE dot ready state is equal to three. And so all the error handling is doing, we put if there is an error, then quit the Internet Explorer browser, set the object to nothing and then go back to the start. The start is where we created a label in the very beginning of the procedure to start over. So here we'll wait until the page is interactive. And then we're going to use the same code right after to wait until the page is loaded. Ready state is equal to four being that it's complete. And we can do message box new page has loaded. And we can just hit F5 and try this code out. And right now I'm waiting for it to go through. And I see the Excel blinking, new page is loaded, just to be on the safe side. Just to make sure that we're actually capturing the new page. I'm going to put text box 5 dot text is equal to and I'm going to do object IE dot document dot body I'm going to put dot inner text that way I don't have to look at the code it's just the actual text and that way I can validate that we're pulling up and waiting for the new page so let's try this out one more time type it in cowboy into the search box I should see in the text box 5 I should see item number 13906. So let me make sure that's in, in there. I'm going to scroll down in here. And I do see it. It's here we have Cowboy Boot Birdhouse. Let me make sure that that's in the page that I have opened. And yeah, that's the first item. So we know that we're looking at this page and we're not pulling up this page because if we had just used loop until ready state is equal to four, right after we click the submit button, we're not really giving the internet or the programming environment a chance for the new page to load. So we could just be capturing this data and that's not what, what, we, wa what we want. We want what's on the next screen. So you always want to make sure that you wait until the page is interactive. Once you see that it's interactive, then you wait for the page to be complete and then now you know you're looking at the most recent page the one that you are expecting to pull data from